Hey guys! So it's been a couple weeks since I have put up a video. I apologize. Um, I've just been busy. But I wanted to do my January favorites even though I am really really late on them. So I apologize. It's like the 15th. Yeah. It's the day after Valentine's Day. So I'm, I'm pretty late. I'm like half a month late which I have never really been that late before. So I am really really sorry but I have some really good stuff to talk about and most of it, like 90% of it, is drugstore. So that's awesome. So yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and jump right in and get started. So um, I'm going to talk about lip products first. I have three, well two really. Uh, one of them is the same brand. Um, and they are, this first one is by Jordana. They just came out. They're called the LOL Lip Out Loud Super Shiny Gloss. I'm wearing it today. This is the color, by the way, BTW. And these smell so good. At least this one does. It smells like, um, like, I don't even know, like, cherries maybe I, i'm so bad at describing scents it just smells really fruity um and they're so shiny and glossy and i just love the way they look on the lips and i just think they are really really nice and they were a dollar 99 like that's insane um i definitely want to get more colors of these they're really really nice i don't know if like i would say it's the exact like it's really pigmented i'll try to swatch it for you guys i feel like i have a lisp again um <laughs> anyways i'll swatch it for you guys it's it's just like a sheer peachy color but it does give a nice shine and some color payoff. Ignore my burn right there. Um, it does give a nice shine and a really nice color payoff. So yeah, I've been loving that. And the other ones are by NYX. And this first one is in the uh, color Smoky Look, which is a really pretty like peachy color. And then this one is Gold Pink. And I've just been loving NYX lip glosses. I'm not really a huge lip gloss person. I, I don't know, they're just really sticky and my hair is long and it just gets all over my lips. But um, this month I've just been really gravitating towards them for some reason. And these have been the ones that I've really been liking. So yeah. And NYX is really affordable. And you can get them at Ulta. Usually like buy one get one half off. Which is awesome. Foundation this month. You guys know I love uh, my Ramel Clean Finish Drugstore Foundation. I have a video where I demo that for you guys. If you want to see that I will link that down below. But this month I've actually really been liking the CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation. And I've had this for a couple months, and when I first got it, I used it a couple times, and then I just kind of like stopped using it because this is definitely more of a lightweight foundation. It, it's not full coverage like my Rimmel one. Uh, so when you're having like not great skin days, I don't really reach for this, but this month I haven't had too bad of skin days, so I've really been liking this. So if you are someone who doesn't need like a, a lot of uh, foundation, if you just kind of want something like lightweight, this is really good. And I'm still breaking out a little bit this month, like I have one right here if you guys can see. Um, and this is still good because I, I, obviously I don't need like a really heavy foundation all over. I'm not breaking out like in a ton of places, but I do have a couple spots. So really, this still works for me because I just go over it with a concealer. This is the Sonia Kasha concealer I've been liking. Um, I just go over those little spots with concealer and it's totally fine. So uh, I definitely recommend this if you want like a lightweight foundation, but still gives a little bit of coverage and it like really looks really, really natural. Like I, I feel like this is the most natural makeup I have because it just doesn't, I just don't feel like I'm wearing foundation. I feel like it doesn't look like I'm wearing foundation. Um, yeah, it's really, really good. A mascara, I totally mentioned this. I think, I don't even know what video it was. I think it might have been the I Love Drugstore Makeup video. I mentioned the Maybelline Rocket Volume Express and I mentioned that I wasn't really loving it and I definitely kind of have to eat my words on that because I, ooh, I just dropped it. <laughs> because I have been using it a lot this month, um, you know, just to try to use it up. And I totally realized that I I spoke too soon and I do really like it. It, it definitely gives you, gives you, can't talk, definitely gives you really nice, uh, like, volume. And I just feel like it makes my lashes look really, really nice. So I do like this. I mentioned in that video that I, I liked the Clump Crusher Butter, which I do like that one too a lot. But I think I just spoke too soon. This is a really good mascara too. For eyeshadows, I have been obsessed with these infallible eyeshadows. I don't even know what they're called. They're just the 24-hour infallible eyeshadows by L'Oreal. I only have two, but I really want to get more. Uh, I have Ice Latte and Amber Rush. And I'm wearing Amber Rush on my eyelids today. I'll try to uh, zoom in so you guys can see a little bit. But it's just a really pretty uh, kind of like... Uh, I don't know, I don't even know how to describe it really. Uh, like goldish, kind of pinky undertoned color. It's so pretty. These are gorgeous, you guys, and they just have the best color payoff. Like they're so pigmented and foily looking, 
and they just look so nice on your eyes just like has amazing shine to it so I've been loving these um an ice latte I wore a lot last month and I wore it in a couple of videos and I got some compliments on it it's just a really kind of nice champagne color and I have that like on my inner corners today too I don't know how well you guys can see this I kind of suck at swatching on camera but yeah, these are amazing. I definitely recommend you guys check them out if you haven't already. Uh, I know Walgreens right now is having buy one, get one half off of L'Oreal. So yeah. Um, also this month, I've been loving the L'Oreal Magic Lumi Primer. It's called their Light Infusing Primer. My mom actually had this and I ran out of my hourglass one, which is super expensive. And I just was trying to like put off mine a new one. Um, and I found this in her bathroom and started using it. And I really, really like it. It hasn't broken me out. It definitely does give you like kind of a shiny glow when you put it on. I definitely like wouldn't wear this on its own, but underneath foundation, it's it's nice and it doesn't, I don't know, you don't look like shiny after you put your foundation on everything. It just gives you a nice glow. And I like it because I do think it helps my makeup stay on longer. Um, that's the whole reason I use a primer. There's no other reason I wear a primer really. Um, I mean, some of them claim to help with your pores and stuff. I don't, I don't really know about that, but I really just wear it because I want my makeup to last, you know, as long as it can. And I think that this really did help with that. I don't know how much this runs because I didn't buy it. Um, but if you are looking for a new primer, I definitely recommend the Magic Lumi uh, Light Infusing Primer by L'Oreal. It's really good. Nail polish. I like have been forgetting to include nail polishes in my favorites videos the last couple months. And I don't know why. I don't know really what happened, but um, I needed to include this one for sure. This one I have been loving the past few months. And I, I keep meaning to include it, and every time I'm editing my video, I'm like, I totally forgot to include nail polish. So this is uh, OPI Magnolia Wine. No, Mal Malaga. I'm I cannot read apparently. Ma I thought it was Magnolia Wine, but it's not Malaga Wine. M-A-L-A-G-A -A -A wine. Yeah, I feel really stupid because I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. But um, it's just this really pretty dark red burgundy color. It's so, so pretty. I'm not wearing it today. I know it kind of looks like this color. This is a Rimmel color. Um, I don't even know what color this is. I, it wasn't mine. But um, yeah, they do kind of look similar. But this is such a gorgeous color, you guys. I am not usually someone who like takes off nail polish and puts on the exact same one I had before, but I was doing that with this one. This is how much I love this color and definitely recommend it. I went to Ulta looking for that OPI color, something barbecue that everybody talks about, and they didn't have it, and I saw this one like sitting really close to where that one should be, and I just thought this one was so pretty. And I actually went to Ulta like a few weeks after that, and they had the barbecue color, and just looking at it, I just didn't think it looked as nice as this one. It just didn't look as like rich and burgundy as this one, so I really love this color. And the other one is by Revlon. This is the color Girly, which is like just this gorgeous purple glitter color. If you guys can see, it just has the craziest amount of glitter in it. It just looks like a party on your nails. If you just put two to three coats of this on, it looks exactly like it looks in the bottle. I have really been liking this color. It definitely doesn't like last too long on my nails. I'd say like two days and it's already chipping, but it's a really nice like accent color or something that you want to do when you just want to have fun with your nails. Uh, okay, skincare. This is the Queen Helene Grapeseed Extract Peel Off Mask, and I didn't even know this existed. If You guys might know about the Queen Helene Mint Julep Mask, a lot of people talk about that. Um, and I went to Ulta to get that one because I ran out, and I saw this one next to it, and I wanted to try this because I have only tried a peel off mask a couple times, um, and they just are always really fun, and they just leave your skin feeling like so refreshed and... Just like you peeled off a layer of skin, which sounds so gross, but that's basically what it feels like. It feels like you're just, like, I don't know, giving, like, a new layer to your skin, if that makes sense. So, I wanted to try this. This is a clean slog pore, softens facial lines, and soothes and tones skin. And you guys, I am obsessed with this. It's so good. Like, every time I use it, I just feel like my skin looks so much more even. Um, like, the, the tone of my skin. And I think that that, it says a toned skin, so... I really like this. I definitely recommend it. I'm going to use it tonight. I haven't used it in a few days. Um, it says you can use it, I think, twice a week. And it says to leave it on for 10 minutes. Um, and then you just, like, peel it off. And it just comes off. And it's amazing. And it's only, like, 5 or $6. And it's really good. I think I might like this one more than the mint julep mask. So if you guys are looking for something um, to just even out your skin tone, this is really, really good. And then also, this is the Cebu Sea Buckthorn Seed Oil. I remember mentioning this in a video and saying that it, it smelled really bad. It totally does. I don't. I think I feel like I might have mentioned this actually in my last favorites video, but I can't remember. 
Um, but I wanted to mention it because this stuff has really been helping like with my um, like acne scarring and any kind of scarring that you have or discoloration on your face. This is really, really good. Even like with active acne I've used on it and it works amazing. It's just an oil and it's like getting all over my hands. Um, and it smells horrific. It smells so bad. But if you can get past the smell, it like works wonders. Um, it's really weird to put like an oil on your face, especially like on like problem areas but uh it really really works and i notice i wake up in the morning and that area just looks a lot better and it's just so much easier to cover up with makeup because it's always a problem when you have like a breakout or something is like covering it up with makeup because it's not it's like fresh and like not to get tmi but it just doesn't like cover up very well with makeup um and this just makes it like kind of heal quicker and it makes it a lot easier to cover so i really like this and you can get this on amazon pretty cheap. I want to say like under $10. And this little thing has lasted me so long, you guys. I don't, I think I'm like finally like right here towards the end, but this thing has lasted me so long. So definitely recommend it. Um, for hair this month, uh, this is the Organics by Numi Argon Oil. Uh, Numi is a website. I will link them down below if you guys are interested. There's hair on this bottle. Um, they sent me this Argon Oil and I have really been liking it. Uh, I have never really tried like 100% Argon Oil, which I think this is. I'm not I'm not positive, actually. But it says that it reduces fading on color-treated hair while repairing split ends and frizz. Um, I'm totally all about oils in my hair. You guys know that because I have frizzy hair and just... Um, it's gotten better as it's gotten longer, I've noticed. But my frizz tends to be, like, up here a lot. And I just I just need oil for my hair, like, you know, to put it in when it's wet. And this has been really, really nice. It smells so good. Ugh, I don't even know how to describe the scent, but it just smells amazing. And, um, it works really really well so I'll put that link down to that website if you guys are interested I'm not getting paid if you get anything from there they did send this to me but um yeah it's totally like I'm not getting compensated for it uh but I'll put their link down below okay guys for random favorites um I wanted to talk about my new kitten uh this is Chester I mentioned him in my last video and I'm obsessed with him he's like totally not wanting to be here right now but he ah he's scratching me he's usually really good and um yeah <laughs> Hey, can you look at the camera? Can you look at the camera? Can you look at the camera? Uh, yeah, if you guys follow me on Instagram, you've seen a lot of pictures of him, like, a lot. <laughs> I'm kind of obsessed with him. You should definitely follow me on there if you are into cats or cat pictures. Um, I actually had, like, a little photo shoot with him. I used to work at a portrait studio, and, um, I went and took his pictures, and they came out really cute. So, um, there's some of those on there as well. And he's just, like, the best cuddler. Like, I really lucked out with him, because my last cat was not a cuddler, and he is the best cuddler. Like, he just loves to be cuddled up and curled up with you, and... Yeah, he's just pretty amazing, so I'm pretty excited about him. Um, and then also, I thought I would include a TV favorite, because I don't really do that a lot, and I don't know why, I just, um, I don't know, I think that might have been my phone. Um, I don't know why I don't do that a ton, I just, I don't know, I always, like, forget to include those. But, um, yeah, I mean, obviously, I love, like, Pretty Little Liars, like everybody else does, but this month I've actually been, uh, watching a lot of Hulu Plus. I just, like, subscribed with it, it's, like, eight bucks a month, and, uh, I started watching Buffy the Vampire Slayer, which... I had seen like a few episodes growing up. Uh, it was it was kind of like uh, a show that was on when I was growing up, but it wasn't. Uh, I was like younger, so it wasn't really like my show. It was like more of my sister show. But I just like recently got into it, and I am obsessed with it. It's so good. I'm on the third season. However, I didn't watch the first season, so I need to go back and watch the first season. But um, so I'm I'm in the middle of the third season. But it's really really good. And if you guys haven't seen it, I definitely recommend it. I know Miss Lamarazzi here on YouTube. That's that's like one of her favorite shows, and it's really good. So if you have like Netflix or Hulu Plus, I would definitely uh recommend it if you're looking for a new show. It's really good, and it's all about like a girl like kicking ass, and that's awesome. So yeah, so that's about it. I don't really have any fashion favorites this month. Um, I'm I don't know. It's been like kind of the same thing, same stuff that I mentioned last month. I haven't really gotten too many new things. So. Yeah, I think that's about it. So I hope you guys liked this video. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, make sure to thumbs up. And yeah, also check out my Invisalign channel if you guys are interested in any information about Invisalign because I am wearing them and um, I'm doing updates. I have one update on there now, but I'm about to film another one, which will be up there too. Um, my second update. So definitely check out that channel if you are interested in like an information on Invisalign because I talk about that on there. So yeah, I think that's about it. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.